So a while back in 2019, I made a video where I only used top path upgrades to beat chimps mode. I initially tried it on another brick, but I failed and lost on 98. So then I eased difficulty a little bit over to moon landing and uh, yeah, ended up being a breeze. But now since again, the game has uh, become a lot more power creeped and we have more knowledge than we did back then. I think we're going to give it a go on this map, Infernal. Yes, an expert map in chimps mode using only the top path and hero allowed. Now, if I remember when I blackboarded in front a long time ago, I think Quinty start is a pretty good way to go. Now, I think there's other starts that could work, like that's not involving Quinty, but he just works. And the thing is, uh, with Top Path, I think there's uh, some pretty good options. Like, for example, we have a uh, Top Path Alchemist, so you can just pretty much alpha buff every tower you want. And that should hopefully make for uh, an easy time this round or in this run. So, round 9, need Joss Knight with my 610. As much as I want to get a tower that can hit both sides, top and bottom, I don't think I can do that right now, because I also have to look at the late game, and in fact, I, I, I can just restart if we end up uh, reaching a dead end. So, I'm thinking ahead of time, Pure Flagship might be a really good late game. In fact, we got uh, quite a few decent options. We got Archmage, although, again, non-cross path. I should mention, it's not like this top path as in I can cross path 420, 520, 502. Nope, it's... Zero of middle and bottom. So that means before I get my Cure Flake ship, this is going to be a pretty useless tower because generally you want, like, top path boat is good when you get grapes because it shoots so many of them. Good mold damage in general. Also, I don't want to use the Quincy ability this round, or do I? Eh, I guess I could. It'll be back for round 14 anyway, so we should be all good. Now, another tower. Again, I said Archmage earlier, so I guess that would be over here because the thing is, well, a lot of the top path upgrades only, they don't have the Campbell upgrade on that path. So, for example, maybe I want something like Apache Prime. Well, I couldn't get that because it's a 5 0 And uh, the only D camo in this game or in this uh, run is uh, the top path sub, which, you know, the pond is on the bottom only. And since I can't use a Campbell Village, yeah, that top sign is going to be pretty lonely. So I feel like the innate shimmering of the Archmage might do good there. Now, again, this early game is not going to be fun because uh, I don't think there's really many towers I can get that will get both sides early game. I guess it could go for the heli, but I would need to commit to the uh, Apache Dark Ship in that case, which I, I'm i not sure about that yet. So we'll see. For this round, I think I have to use the uh, Attack Speed Quincy. It's still not, not, might not be enough, though. Yeah? Okay. I guess I could just do Intel, because I'm going to go for Camo anyways. So honestly, does, just this should be make a difference. So I'll use Quincy as well. Hopefully we don't need for round 16 here. Ah, uh, yeah, I did need for round 16. God damn it. All right, let's drop an Alchemist, because I'm going to get a 3 0, -zero anyways. I'm just hoping I'm not spending too much money on uh, just a bunch of useless base towers right now. Because I feel like that is the biggest roadblock for the early game. Just get into maybe the out buff. Because all the towers I'm going to get late game, they uh, kind of stink without cross padding early game. Even the wizard 3 0, -zero is going to be pretty bad. I use Quincy here. Might not be enough still. No, it's enough barely. And now for round 21, we are dead, so I got 1,300 to work with. You know, I could go for a second Alchemist over here, because uh, I do want to alpha the Archmage, I guess, when I get that later. Let's just see if that's enough to clear out the amount of balloons here. Nope, still lead to Stray Red. Okay, how about an Alp and a Wizard? Surely that's going to be enough? Still no. This is harder than I thought. Maybe I could just go for an Alpha Jitsu if I'm really struggling in the early game here. Because, look, I can just buy range and this gets both sides. I think if this doesn't get for round 22, I'm going to be so mad. Also, this actually isn't that great because it doesn't seek, but eh. It's better than most options. So, I'm, I'm watching here. Okay, that's good. That's good. He's still at 22, but that's progress. Uh, progress, but I think we're still kind of at a dead end. Because I need double shot here. But I just can't afford it. Okay, let's try sniper and strong here and see if that possibly does any better. Change it first if we need snipe later. No, we're good. We're good. Okay. And the sniper doesn't really build into anything, because main mob without shrapnel, it's kind of bad. Okay, I think we made it past the first real roadblock, though. That's good, that's good. Can I get alpha buff now, please? Yes. Beautiful. We survived. And now alpha buff Quincy should basically carry us until, I don't know, close to round 40. And we'll see what to build, I guess, at that point. Friendly reminder again that Quincy got buffed last update, so... We should have a slightly easier time in the late game, too, now that he uh, basically has 50% more damage, hopefully... Uh, just going for more other subpar towers, like, again, Archimage, without cross batting. Should still be enough to hold the line, I don't know. But, okay, it's looking like Alpha Quincy is starting to fall right about now, so I guess we should 
just work on the Arcane Mastery. I will still go for Jitsu if I really need to, but I guess if I can hold off on not getting it, then I will. Might be hard though, but yeah, that's what I'm going to try to save up for next. 10.8k Arcane Spike. Yeah, Arcane Mastery is actually doing some pretty good work. Now, this round, definitely uh, Alpha. Use the ability. And I still leak a blue in. That's fine. I'll restart. Changing a bit of timing should be enough. There we go. Right now, the only problem is that Quincy is still only camo, so... Uh, just gotta be wary of that. And uh, we got Arcane Spike now. Nice. And I think now what's next on the agenda is... Uh, 400 Alpha. I could do another tower now, now that... Well, it's a tier 4 Alpha. Put next Quincy, but I'm not sure which one what that would be at the moment, so we'll leave that space open. Now all I gotta do is remember what rounds have, uh, nasty camos, like this round, 51. I don't even know if Quincy alone can, uh, deal with this, but we'll see. Uh, I don't think so, I don't think so. <laughs> I gotta use the Storm Arrows. Looked like we leaked the pink there, but we're fine. But I don't, I think it's gonna wear out, yeah. Okay. You think it's worth it just bite the bullet on Alpha Jitsu just to be able to, uh, survive the camos? You know what? I think I'm gonna go with it. I just realized, though, now is that, uh, round 63 might, 63 might be an issue. Because I don't really have, a uh, good towers for that. An aircraft carrier might help a little bit with that, but I'm gonna save the money, or not buy it right now if I really don't need to, just so, again, keep my options open for, uh, round 63. We are getting, uh, yeah, pretty close to Archmage, though, but pretty sure we're gonna be off a little bit. Okay, beat this round, no leakers, please, no leakers, please. Uh, also don't want to use any Quincy abilities in case, come on. Oh, that's close. I think we can do it without. I think we ought to do a little bit of targeting. So, right now, Quincy first. Uh, Arcane on strong. Back and first for everything. And please. Nope. Okay, we could probably just try uh, buying a stronger stem. That's probably worth the 3k even for next round. Maybe in that case, now we have enough to be able to... Yeah, okay. That's enough of a difference to make 62 beatable. And let me just watch for this round. What if I use Quincy 3 for this one? first wave. Yeah, it looks kind of close. I didn't want to resort to this this early, but how about you try and brutal it? Because the thing is, uh, I might need it just to save our mage to be able to pop camels on this top side. I'm not sure, but I guess it could be useful late game too, just for the plus one damage. Now, uh, Quincy ability. But yeah, that barely did any damage. 316. That is enough, though. Holy crap, that snipe from the, uh, the wizard. Again, the way it's looking, though, I can't get my Quincy 3 up for wave 3, so... Uh, I pretty much have to beat one, at least one wave without any Quincy ability. And uh, that's, yeah, gonna leave wave three a bit short. Okay, what if I try to place the Embrutimus such that I eclipse the bottom side? If that's possible at all, come on. Nah, it doesn't reach, it doesn't reach. It doesn't even reach both sides. What a disaster. I guess I could still go for a decamo reactor back here. I just don't think a 400 will do enough damage. Let's see though. You never know. Extra 300 pops, still no. Actually, how about Shell Shock? Just do stun ceramics. This could still be useful late game, because, yeah, since when is a stun ever and not useful? Come on. Oh, this is definitely the best run so far. What if we combine the Shell Shock? Like, combine it with Embrittlement? You think this is, like, again, using up all my money, but I guess there's not really much I can do, eh? This is pretty much the run that has to work. There we go. Now we're set back a crap ton, but. Luckily, uh, I guess we have many rounds to save before Cure Flasher. That's gonna be my option now, instead of Archimage, because it's cheaper. And last wave, I might not even need to use Quincy 10. Nah, I'll use it, just in case. There we go. Alright, looks like all we gotta do is get through 75, and, uh, Cure Flasher is ours. And we'll probably save until the early 70s here, so... Let's see. Just gotta take down a little bit of this. Cure Flagship, nice. And, uh, nice. We also unlock a couple new, uh, uh, land spots up there, but... I don't really see uh, much use in it since it's so far away. Now, next on the list, of course, is uh, Archmage. And honestly, if you can afford that in, like, two rounds, because 84 gives you a lot of money. And uh, thanks to Inferno being an extra map, Quincy is leveling insanely fast. You might get the level 19, the level where he got the huge buff, very soon. So yeah, who knows what I could possibly save up for at that point. Now, here it is. Now we don't have to worry about camos, really. Yeah, there's level 19 already, round 87. I'm just going to hold on the cash by now. I really don't know... Uh, what, like, the thing is with Top Path, a lot of these towers aren't really uh, utility towers. There's very few of them, like, well, I don't know if I can't alpha, but I guess I can't, like, I'm talking about slow stuns, etc. There is Blue Moon Pact, there is Maymo, but they're uh, pretty bad options when not cross path. Meanwhile, I got stuff like a 003 Mole Press. 
or as soon as your three morph glue could still be uh, pretty useful even without cross pathing. But yeah, maybe we'll just go for more damage. I don't know. Like, <laughs> you think a biggest one is a possible option? It got more expensive though, so I doubt it's really uh, in our within our budget right now. And obviously, Patch Prime. I don't think the math even adds up. We could just go for a normal patchy though, but yeah, let's just take it slow. 84 here. Do I want to use Quincy ability right now? I don't want to. Uh, actually, I'll just use it. 95. Uh, it's not like Quincy really damages DTs anyways. Also, we're dead. We're still dead. I guess this problem could be easily solved just by using, I don't know, Quincy's ability a lot earlier. Just to clear out the, the waves and all that. Hell, maybe even using Quincy's arrows if I feel like we need it here. Or do we? Nope, we're good. I'll put Archmage on strong for uh, the incoming 95 because, yeah. We want to take down DTs so that... We can kind of clear out the rest. Quincy ability again. And this round should be just fine, right? Yep. Hell, maybe I can go for a Sky Shredder at this point. The thing is, I, I never even brought it up the entire game because without, I don't know, a good spot for it and no Wing Monkey, it's not going to be doing the amount of DPS you would like. Uh, I'm going to have to use Storm Arrows here. For 96, by the way. That was scary. And we'll go ahead and use an arrows right about now to burst down 96. Come on. Is it enough? It is enough. Nope. 47k though to work with. That's a lot. The thing is though, we do have the 20% of attacks we've got with the reflection. So this not, might not be a not bad option. And on top of that, this spot also isn't terrible. I guess we could use more defense on the bottom side because I feel like the top side is pretty good now. Now that we got Arc Mage. I don't know. Yes, we're committing. Okay, can't quite afford Sky Shredder for the end of 96 here. But I should be able to get it for uh, 98, right? Let's make sure we can be 97 first. <laughs> this round is not uh, super trivial, at least it seems. Okay. Yeah, we're like $1,000 short, so let's just make the money first and then we'll be looking good. Yeah, if 96 was a struggle, there's no way these three towers low and it would have been enough, so... Thank goodness for this guy Shredder. Am I right? Get it? Even then, I can't guarantee you a win yet. Just gotta time things well. Use Quincy 3 now. Use Storm Arrows 2 if I really need to. Yeah, now. Uh, change targeting of the ace. That's the only kind of micro ace I know. And it's still dead. Okay, so back to the drawing board here. I have extra money, but there's really not much I can spend it on. Uh, still dead. Maybe it would have been helpful if we had the Sky Shroud immediately. That 1k could have hurt us really bad. I'll use Quincy ability early. Maybe to make some money. Does that help out? Come on. Get it. Yeah, uh, so I don't think that's enough. I also, I don't know if you could, could have placed an alpha buff on the ace on this pad, but yeah, that would have been nice too. Or jungle drums. Whatever it is, please don't tell me you were at a dead end. Funnily enough, I actually think I could have afforded a uh, Vegas one if I didn't go for the ODS, which is kind of sad. I'll use the ability now, by the way. Lots of fortifieds, lots of fortifieds. Uh, still dead. Like, look how close I am to uh, the biggest one. Maybe I can actually still afford a mid round. Hang on. It's only $3,000 to work with. It just sucks, though, because I definitely could have used it, like, now. Instead of, uh, in 3k. Like, at that point, I think we're just dead. I'll use the ability now to try to save face. Yeah, I think we're just, uh, screwed, guys. Ugh. I actually die, like, $100 short of biggest one. Yeah, now I really regret, like, just buying this Ace in general. Or literally anything that was worth, uh, $1,000 in this game. Yeah, and that's Jim's note for ya. That's why I don't like to spend any more than I... Need to in chips. Okay, I forgot one option. It's might be very silly, but it might be your only option, and that would be the Bloom Solver. Yep. This is a 98 killer, isn't it? We have 10k to work with too, but I'll leave it for now, just in case like 99 I need it for. Actually, I think this is the answer all along, right? Uh, I'll use Quincy a little bit. As long as we pop the Mole Class Balloons, Solver cleans up. Also, I bought the Cross Path, so let me die here actually. I didn't mean to. I'm not trying to cheat here. Alright, so now you see, it's a pure uncross path, uh, solver. And, uh, still feel like we got problems. Yeah, it's not, it's not, a, like, a instant win, but it's by far the best we got. Just need more mob damage, I think. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some stuff in strong. And we just gotta pop that mob layer. And then we are good. We'll even use Quincy ability. I think we'll use it early, yeah. Just get as much damage as possible. Quincy on, like, first and last alternating. 
I like this so far. A Quincy arrow. And now it's kind of struggling a little bit. Uh, back to first for Arc Mage. First for everything. We got nice eighteen thousand dollars. How about a balloon impact? Did I need that? Uh, I might not have, but I'm gonna take this run anyways. I think we can survive ninety nine, right? If I die ninety nine, I'm gonna be very sad. Solver hits at least. We're dead ninety nine. No, no, it's not over yet. It's not over though, but no. Okay, good news is I can buy myself an entirely uh, new Arcane Spike. But that's really all. Put it all in strong. I'll spam Quinty, I guess. Fine. I guess he could do a little bit. And... Uh, still not enough. Okay, maybe Mimob actually could come handy here. Let's try. So we got, again, Archmage and Strong. I'll use Quincy early, I guess. I don't know. Just in case it works. Back to first. Uh, Back to first here. Nope. All right, Quincy again. Change more to targeting. Leave Archmage on strong. Back to first. Ooh, so close. I guess we're gonna try Alp King, be careful like ship, but that doesn't do anything to the missiles, only the uh, main attack, but who knows. Again, we're basically trying anything at this point and hoping it sticks. Oh, that's the difference. Okay. Again, I don't know if I have enough for round 100, though. Can I at least get another fighter plane? Thank you. The thing is, I used Quincy ability because I had to for 99. So, uh, at least I have one more for the end part here, so... It's not like there's no chance of winning here. Yeah, I think we can do this, but it'll be tight. Just like the last other two rounds. So, ability now. We need to pop it into DTs. Okay, I got to use a... Or put this on first. Alright, again... I don't want to use Airbus here, because I need it for uh, the uh, ZMGs, so this is going to be annoying. Okay, how about arrows, like, really, really early? I mean, like, really early. Come on. Stun DTs, please. I have to use arrows there. That's, that's, that's gonna, that's gonna suck. Well, I guess let's just see what happens if we do use arrows. Actually, it doesn't even work on DTs, does it? Right, okay. Hmm. <laughs> even worse. Arrows. Okay, it worked. Now we have DTs left, or ZMGs. But again, without abilities, I think it's over. Unless I can stun everything. Nah. What's funny is that it's actually doable if I don't use arrows for the DTs. So maybe I'll just have to try. Try to survive without that, and then it'll work. Okay, I'm trying something different. How about a 200 uh, Dartling instead of the uh, Fighter Plane? I, thought, I think the Fighter Plane did like 600. And this is actually about equal, but cost 1k less. So maybe that'll help out. So let's see if it changes the timing, perhaps, of when it pops. Ooh, it looks decent. Okay, now we got double Darling Duty. It should make things a uh, pop a little bit faster. Come on. Yes! Okay, 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 okay. What do I spend with my money? Well, there's really no space, so we gotta pray for the best. Come on. Arrows? Ah, still not enough. 10,000 years later. Okay, here we are again. I guess I'll just use the... Uh, it now? It's still dead, though. I don't know. <laughs> I'm about to give up. Okay, please, 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 please. Finally! Oh my goodness. You have no idea how long that round took, guys. Low-key might have been faster to just restart the run from round 100 and just refine the early game, but we finally pushed through. Well, there it is. Expert map, top path only done. And hopefully enjoyed the intense chimps run, and maybe you'll see me redo the middle and bottom path in the future, because again, those were all done nearly four years ago, so... Figured, come back to it again, might make for some, you know, interesting changes to see what's changed over those four years. Thanks for watching, see you next time.